So hello everyone, my name is Austin Belzer and welcome to my reactions uh, to the PlayStation 2023 Showcase. I think that's what they're calling it. So yeah, the PlayStation Showcase 2023. Um, I'm going to open up my dock I have. Let's go to the Showcase Predictions. Alright, so... Uh, like I said, PlayStation Studio, third party, and then PlayStation Productions. Um, and this is not the order I think it will go in. Um, it's mainly just the order um, that the studio, a, a to Z studios. And then third party is just kind of in there. Um, Team Asobi, uh, they made um, Astrobot and a few other games. Uh, they've been Astro's Playground, Astrobot, Rescue Mission, um, and, uh, oh, I forget what the PS5 built-in game was, but it was Astro something. I think they're going to show their platformer. Um, I don't think we'll get much info beyond, like, a little quick, uh, tease. Um, I, I, I don't think we'll get much of that, um... Yeah, I don't think we're getting... Uh, I think it's kind of going to kind of be something where it's like, oh, hey, and here's what Team Asobi is working on. Uh, not something where they're, you know, showing a trailer necessarily or even... Um, it would be kind of like what um, Naughty Dog did last year with The Last of Us uh, multiplayer, which we will talk about. Um, then I think another tease we'll get is whatever Bend is working on. It's been a few years since Days Gone. Um, it's kind of been radio silent for them. I'd be interested to see what they're working on. Um, let's see. Uh, it's probably going to be something third person. Uh, might be life service. I know um, PlayStation is starting to get into that life service arena. Um, and less in... in and more out of the single player stuff um so i, I, I maybe a third person shooter that that sounds like a good guess given uh sunny ben's um history uh then i think we'll see whatever blue point is working on um personally i think this is time for a new game um that they're entirely working on um completely new IP, um, but I will hedge my bets, um, that the Blue Point game might be a remake of a popular, uh, PlayStation game, um, because I think, and I'm not gonna jump on the bandwagon and say it's Metal Gear Solid, uh, 3 Snake Eater, I think that's gonna be, uh, I'll talk about that later, in fact, I have it here, um, but I, I, I don't think that's gonna be a Blue Point thing. Uh, I think that's actually going to be someone else doing that. Um, if anything, I would think Siphon Filter or something like that. Um, you know, just something that's been out of the limelight for, you know, 15, 20 years. Um, and then um, I didn't know this was happening, but um, they're making a PSVR ver 2 version of Firewall called Firewall Ultra. I think we're going to get a blowout for that. Uh, I think we're going to get gameplay, we're going to get a trailer, we're going to get a release date all in one. If uh, I don't think we're going to be spending a lot of time with it other than, you know, just saying, hey, here's some gameplay elements in the trailer, and here's when it's coming out. Probably, if I had to guess, it's probably going to be slated for fall. Uh, PSVR games seem to do best in fall, so um, that's when I think they'll... Uh, put it out um, and going more on the live service stuff uh, I think Firewalk is gonna sh show off their new uh, their live service game uh, I'm not entirely sure what it'll be I think this is Amy Hennings no Amy Hennings Haven Studios um, I, I think it'll be something just a third person shooter Place, I, I feel like that's a safe bet um, but yeah, I think they'll show it off. I, I'd be really interested to see what a first party, uh, live service PlayStation game would be, but, uh, we'll see. Um, 
I do think, um, and I've been predicting this for years, I do think we're going to get a tease of Twisted Metal. I think, honestly, um, if you don't do a Twisted Metal game to tie into the game, uh, not the game, um, the Peacock show that's uh, going to be uh, airing with uh, Anthony Mackie on uh, this fall, I think, is I think when it's premiering either next month or somewhere around there um but yeah i i I think they're gonna have a game that ties into it uh or it could be a reboot mortal kombat one style and we'll talk about mortal kombat one later um but yeah i think it'll be something where not not david jaffe i don't think david jaffe's involved um but i think it's something where playstation uh tasks the studio maybe it's blue point i don't know um, with, hey, we're bringing back Twisted Metal. It's been, you know, a decade since Twisted Metal, um, really was in the public consciousness as a new game. Um, it's always, when you hear people talk about Twisted Metal, it's, uh, talked about in, oh yeah, I remember that on the PS1. Nobody talks about the PS2, unless they're talking about the, the, the monster truck one, um, I forget what that's called, where it took place in, like, somebody's backyard. Um, but, yeah, the PS3 game isn't really talked about. Um, but I think we could... And if it's not... I, I, I also could... I, I, I could see one of three things. I could see it tying into the show. I could see it being its re, uh, reboot. Uh, but I could also see it going the Crash Bandicoot uh, Insane Trilogy uh, way, where hey, here's all the games you know and love. Um, and, uh, so I could really see anything happening with this. Um, I don't think we'll get anything beyond, hey, Twisted Metal's back. Um, I don't think we get a trailer. Um, if we do get a trailer, that would be insane. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to go rapid fire because we've got seven minutes left until the stream starts up. Um, Haven Studios, I think... Uh, Amy Hennig, Hennig's going to talk about, hey, here's what I'm working on. A brief teaser trailer. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, Spider-Man 2, I think we're get, this is going to be the blowout of the show. We're going to get release date, gameplay. This is going to be the big, sh- the big, biggest part of the showcase. Um, I'd also, and since we're also talking about PSVR 2 in, in this, uh, I think we're going to hear from London Studios again. Maybe another first-person shooter from them. Um, I also think we get a bit more info on Lo- The Last of Us Factions. Um, and then as a sizzle rule, I think we get Gran Turismo 7's update trailer, uh, Stellar Blade's release date, uh, the update trailer for the recent uh, season of MLB The Show 23, uh, and then... Uh, uh, for third-party games, I, I think we get Goodbye Volcano Hive, the final trailer for that, the release trailer for that. Um, they've been touting that. Tribeca Game Spotlight is coming out next month. Um, so they really want to push that. Sorry for the uh, spike. but um, And then we're, I, I think we get a tease uh, at Re, uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I know, crazy, but I'm, I'm putting on like all my cards on this I, I I think it's been long enough between remake and um, uh, integrate um, I was trying to think of uh, the DLC um, that you could Square Enix could potentially um, do rebirth now um, and then I think we're gonna get a gameplay of Silent Hill 2 from Bloober team uh, we're going to get a, another, another trailer uh, for Death Stranding 2. No gameplay. Um, but we will get gameplay for Mortal Kombat 1. Maybe a match. Um, not like a full match, but like those Call of Duty truncated things where it's like in the interest of time. Where, where you just show off one character. Uh, maybe uh, Kung Lao. Uh, I, th- I think this is his name. Or, uh, uh, or maybe one of the cameo uh, fighters. Um... Then Pragmata, it will get a trailer and gameplay. I think we'll see more from Final Fantasy 16 in the form of gameplay and a trailer. 
Uh, we'll get a quick trailer for the remake of Metal Gear Solid 3. Uh, Snake Eater, I think Konami is doing this in-house, or maybe Bluepoint is doing this. I could go either way on it, but I think if I had to put um, my money on the table, I would say that it, Konami is producing this in-house. Um, I think we get a release date uh, and trailer for The Little Devil Inside, a uh, trailer for Half-Life Alex with the release date, and a trailer for Gaia. All those things have kind of been up in the air for a few months. So I think that's all from third party. And then I think to close out the show, I think we hear from PlayStation Productions. They gave trailers for Gran Turismo, uh, the movie Gran Turismo, and then an, a trailer talking about the um, Twisted Metal series on Peacock. So yeah, I, 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 I kind of ran through that Blitzkrieg style, but I think that's what we'll get. Um, but yeah, I, I think the ones I'm most uh, certain on are Spider-Man 2, Last of Us Factions, um, Firewall Ultra, um, Resident Evil 4 VR, um, Death Stranding 2, and Goodbye Vol- Volcano High. All bets are off, I think, with this showcase. I think... You know, you got an hour uh, to to talk about all this. I I, I really think anything could uh, happen. So let's see. But uh, yeah, I I really do think anything could happen. Let's mute this. Um, because yeah, it just it, anything really I think could happen. Uh, let's move this up to here. Hi. Um, that way you can actually see. And I did do the subtitles one. So, hopefully. Hopefully hopefully this placement doesn't uh, hinder anything. But yeah, I, let's bump this up a little bit. 1080p. There we go. All right, but what do you think uh, are, is going to be uh, featured in this? I would love to know. Um, yeah, just let me... Let's see. Modern output. Monitor off. Okay. Well, I guess I should go full screen. Okay. Oh, cinematic trailer. Okay. What do we got? PlayStation Studios. Okay. Haven. Told you. Wait. This. I. I didn't think we were gonna get a trailer though. Sure. I'll turn captions off. Okay, a heist game? Remix, 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 boo, 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 remix, 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 uh, the so, yeah, this is a heist game. Let me back off the volume. So, yeah, if I just talk over this, maybe um, I won't get copyright striked. Let's hope. Looks great. Um, I actually kind of assumed if this is Amy Hennig's studio, then I kind of assumed whatever she'd be working on next would be another Star Wars thing. This, and this kind of looks like a Cyberpunk 2077. So, fair games. So this is life service? Take it till you make it. Fair games that, I'll have to, I'll have to scan those. Oh, and PC. Wait, so is ha- was Haven the people they acquired to no, that was Nixus. Nixus was the people, were the 
was the company they acquired to make PC ports. I mean, really, if you look at that Empire, uh, not Empire, um, oh gosh, Unreal Engine 5 Nanite demo, and yeah, I, I, I truly believe they're really just scratching the surface with most of these things. Another PS Studios. Oh, this is 100% a strategy game. No. Oh, this is going in uncanny valley territory. Uh wait, this is Hell Divers too. This is 100%. Yeah. This looks great. Are they... Oh, wow. So this is a full... It's been a long time since I played Helldivers, but it the original one didn't look like this. Not at all. This almost looks like a Monster Hunter World. It's great. Wow. Do am I remembering Helldivers right? I gotta be remembering Helldivers wrong. Yeah, it was top down. Huh. So, instead of top down, it's third person shooter. With a mix of a uh, mix of a kill zone and hmm. I feel like Devolver did um did um oh gosh what was it um i forget who developed it originally but it wasn't arrowhead okay oh this is a uh, send or something like that right yeah or advent Nope, turn that down a little bit. Okay. Yeah, this isn't my bag at all. But I'm glad it, um... But I'm glad, uh, EA's getting a spot here. They usually just get a uh, Microsoft spot. Hmm. That guy sounds familiar. That's that one lady. I am sorry to the developers, but this looks 
like five different games I've played. I mean, the shooting mechanics look great, but of Mortals of Vium. Have him? But yeah, I just. No, I'm good. I'm good. One in the dark? Wait, why is that where my thought, my thought immediately went? Because this looks nothing like an alone in the dark. What is this? It's 505. Oh, um... That's way too loud. There we go. Hmm. Oh! That game, right. Yeah. I honestly forgot about Ghost Runner. <laughs> Sorry. I'll, I'll definitely play it if it comes to Game Pass. Sixty-six days to live is oddly specific. This isn't ghost. What is this? No, seriously. What is this? Is this Kiro? No, that was Activision. Hmm. feel like that's supposed to give me an indication, but I got no idea. Hmm. Hmm. Is this only going to be PS5? Because after Jedi Survivor, I'd, I'd, I'd love to be playing a lot more of these games that rely a bit more on the technical aspects of you going through a world pairing and things like that. I think I'm going to move down here. Yep. There we go. That That's comfier. You know, I'm not a big fan of the color palette, but I guess it makes the combat pop a little more. Hmm. This can't be Ninja Gaiden. What could this be? Anyone know? Because they're definitely treating it like it's this big game. I mean, I feel like you can get all. 
feel like you can get a lot done in 66 days. I mean, you can travel the world in 80. This is Gaia, 100%. Watch me be wrong. Yeah, I'm wrong. No, I need to go back and play Abzu and the Pathless. I couldn't vibe with that, uh, Abzu's controls, but I, I love the art style that they, that giant squid has. And I think I love Journey. Yeah, I did. Or I didn't love it, but, you know, I liked it. Sword of the Sea. I am 100% going to forget that title as soon as we wrap the stream. Reminds me of the title Song of the Sea, which is that Ga GameStop Insomniac game. Okay, so... Oh, um... This is the Talos Principle 2? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. I meant to play the first game. Okay, for some reason I was like, hmm, past this prologue, so the game is going to serve as a prologue to the Talos Principle? That's interesting. And this, what is this? Oh, okay, I need to go in, in the... Oh. I need to go play that game. Chris, agree? Heard good things about it. I think it was on Apple Arcade at some point. I do hope a lot of these games come to Xbox or PC. I know they said the Haven Studios game was coming to PC, but I'd really love... Um, I don't have a PlayStation, um, so it'd be nice to be able to play this one. Because there, there actually are some pretty cool games in here so already. Um, that giant squid game, Song of the Sea, or Sword of the Sea. 
Never. Uh, we'll probably hear more about that. Oh, all right, another cat quest game. Hmm. I'm sure this appeals to somebody, but that ain't me. And it's, and it's always so weird, you know, PlayStation has the PlayStation Indies program, and they'd come on they'd come on during E3 and they'd be like hey here's all these indies so they're oh wait hold on they're always really um diverse with all this Pablo on this could this be no it isn't what I think it is This has got to be some free-to-play game, I'm guessing. Oop, sorry. Uh, okay. Well. I, no, I'm good. But what I was saying is that they, that PlayStation would occasionally come on E3 when they were were um, have participating, and they'd be like, "Here's all these like Devolver and just these random games." So they some of them really got a spotlight. Oh, this is just PlayStation Splatoon. And this is just Splatoon, right? Apologies for being derivative, but that's all I see when I look at this. I don't really see an original idea here, but but hey, if it comes to Xbox, I'll try it out. Um, if it's a free-to-play game. Let me guess it's Shadow Drops. Nope, okay. Ooh, this is cool. Okay, I'll play this. Whoa. I think, you know, th this is kind of what I always wanted um, the Paper Mario games to be. Another Devolver game, okay. So that almost guarantees it's gonna be on something else, I think. I, I feel like a lot of Devolver games are on um, our multi-platform. Minecraft? What's going on? Hmm. I don't know if anyone's seeing this, but it looks kind of choppy. But 
but it looks like a decent enough idea. A voxel crime a GTA game? Or GTA crime, not GTA, but uh, voxel based crime drama? Or not crime drama, but open crime game? I don't know, it could work. Not 100% sold on it. Especially since the performance doesn't seem to be there, but... This isn't PlayStation Studios. Okay. Another thing I'll give um, give PlayStation props for in their showcases is that they just really aren't afraid to just show a lot of things that just don't really they're they're they're, they're okay to take creative swings I think. And w because it gets uh, other studios highlighted that maybe not wouldn't have ha wouldn't have had the chance. So what is this? Oh, oh, I know I should have a bigger reaction, but oh my goodness, it's. I, I put this out there as n no, <laughs> no, no. Oh, I was wrong. It's the uh, no. Okay, it's, it's Snake Eater. Who's developing? It says Konami, but it doesn't say who's developing it. Interesting. So I. I The Master Collection. Okay. So then, it, it doesn't say Xbox, though. Hmm. As I kind of figured, I kind of need to see more than just... Um... A... a cinematic... But yeah, I, I'm i sure a lot of people are going to go insane over that, but there's, I think there's, you can't do the same thing that Resident Evil was doing with um, RE7, where it's like, oh, hey, here's some things you know to kind of prepare you that, A, we're going to remake this game, or not remake this game, but um, in the, the context of... It, Metal Gear Solid 3, th yes, but, but yeah, I, I think, if, especially if they have Death Stranding 2 in this showcase, I feel like there's a lot of questions to be asked and answered about that game, but the copyright did say Konami, so I, I wonder, is Konami doing that in-house? That'd be interesting. And you know, it's interesting. It 
Oh, this is Assassin's Creed Mirage. Right? No. This is... Final Fantasy 16? Yeah. Hmm. Wait, it was like the guy from Final Fantasy Origins. Wait, I'm sorry, the main character is Clive? Yeah, I don't know about this one, man. Wait, was that known? Drew 20 Yeah, I guess it was. Because I feel like... Okay, we're about halfway into the showcase. I feel like it's time for PlayStation Studios game. Come on. I can't believe it. John Wick? I mean, I know it's... October 17th. Rumors are true. Oh, I hope that says Xbox. Now we get a Assassin's Creed. Okay. 
if it doesn't come to Xbox, that'll be one of the biggest messes. Interesting. Uh, I thought we were going to hear about this during the Ubisoft showcase, but wait, what? Man, this reminds me so much of Assassin's Creed 1. If Ubisoft can pull this off, that would be astounding. Because, I mean, this is... Wait, the seam? Huh. Interesting. Yeah, if this is essentially Assassin's Creed 1, but with the reworked engine of Origins, spot on. October 12th on PS5 and PS4. Interesting. Not in the woods, too. Shoot my shit, I'll cook. In fact, I've got that on that Switch right now, so I need to go play that. It, it's interesting, 80% of Revenant Hill, interesting. Um, eighty percent of this has been indies. And of course, I'm probably gonna say that, and then this next thing will be a PlayStation Studios game. But I don't imagine another another third party. Interesting. I I don't know if I dig. How much third party is there is, but man, that yeah, I, I don't know if I dig the because there've been what three PlayStation Studios games, if that. Oh, uh, this is what Valkyria Chronicles. It's on my Steam library somewhere, but. But yeah, this is the third party stuff is not like all pro I, Grand Blue Fantasy. Like, I, I don't know, I just thought this would be more PlayStation Studios focused because I mean, they kind of set themselves up for hey, this is gonna be um, like a showcase, which they haven't done since 2020. And that showcase was, like, jam-packed full of stuff that, I, I don't know, I feel like the distribution
Hmm. Is this going to be our player character? Yeah, in the uh, campaign for the... Oh, I should probably speak over this because, uh, yeah, I, th there's licensed stuff here. The uh, remix, remix, remix. But yeah, I, I just, I just uh, don't. Yeah, I need to see. Um, I, I need to see some PlayStation Studio stuff real quick because we're 40 minutes in, and still no Spider-Man 2. Which, I mean, you gotta think it's. They say it's coming out in the fall, and I feel like this would be the perfect place to show it off. Maybe it's. it's the like the next big thing or not the last big thing or one last thing but but yeah like 90% of this probably now is oh I'm probably exaggerating but 90% of this is third party and they also said there'd be a lot of PSVR stuff in here and I'm not really seeing a whole lot of PSVR here I just kind of wonder if they if PlayStation thought that um, let me turn this down um, that maybe uh, that Snake Eater news was going to be the big thing and Haven Studios was going to be a big thing but I don't know and like these games don't look bad it, it's just I think they set themselves up for uh, false expect uh, too big of expectations still on that one okay and I don't mean to complain it's just one of these things where it's just I all these games look great, most of them, I want to say, but, again, this is the kind of stuff I think of in a state of play, not a, a showcase. So, and like all the um, rumors around this showcase were that it was going to be this big blowout event for their their kind of E3, so I don't know. Like, not seeing Mortal Kombat here, not seeing um, Destiny 2 here, I don't know. It'd be actually nuts if we got um, that, an update on the Avatar game here, though. And, you know, may, maybe another part of it is I maybe hype myself up too much. Like, that could be it, too. You go. Deep down? Oh. 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 <laughs> uh. 
Okay, I'm in. Yeah, I'm playing this. Say no more. I'm in. Although I probably should go and play Dragon's Dogma because it seems pretty reliant on that game. I mean, whatever you say, as long as I get to play as a cat. A uh, cat mage. Oh, another Friday, Five Nights at Freddy's. This is the one in space, right? You got 15 minutes left? Or did they say over an hour? Let me see, did they say over an hour? Did you say over an hour? Yeah, the show will run a bit over an hour, focusing on PS5 and PSVR 2 games in development from top studios around the world. Except Expect a glimpse at several new creations at, from PlayStation Studios, as well as spellbinding games from our th third party partners and indie creators. So that explains the distribution of a uh, third party. Okay, so we're moving on to PSVR 2. Uh, so that does that mean we're done with PSVR? I not PSVR, but um, PS5 games? And moving on to RE4 VR. Hmm. That's unfortunate if so. This looks great, by the way. Looks better than my... Th um, what, what did I play? Was there a demo for Resident Evil 4 that came out? I think there was. And I think I played it on my Series S, I think. Yeah. VR mode, so it's not a separate purchase, I would assume. Oh, but it's in development. Interesting. Vertigo Games, this is another PSVR 2. Hmm. Oh, this is that one game. I can't remember. Uh, Arizona Sunshine, I think. Is this actual? Um, oh, Arizona's just on turn two.
wonder what other people are saying about this showcase. Oh, is this the... Oh... Um... What is that one game? That Microsoft... Is Crossfire? Let's see what Twitter's saying about this. Sierra Squad. So are we really not gonna Turn that way down. Sounds familiar. I don't know why. Ooh, I'm gonna mute that. Nope. I'm... Yep, I'm just gonna mute that. Because there is no way I'm not getting copyright... Sh uh, getting a copyright strike over a Queen song. So... Is it, so is this a uh, Beat Saber 2? What is this? So available now on PS4. Queen Music Pack. Okay, got it. And 3, 2, 1. Cool. Come on, give me a PlayStation Studios thing. We're almost... We're almost an hour in. <sighs> Let's bump down the quality. I don't know what's going on there. Hmm. Uh, go 
back a little bit. Okay. Well, that was weird. We saw this little bit. Hopefully this isn't copyrighted, or otherwise I'm just gonna have to mute this again. Oh. Wait, is Bungie making a new game? And does this count as a PlayStation Studio game? Because they own Bungie, right? Oh. Alrighty then. So I guess I technically that wouldn't count. Interesting though. I don't know why they would go back to Marathon, but. Yeah, because I probably because I haven't played Destiny 2, but but I hear good things, you know. It's, I watch uh, Zany play play the game from time to time. shape. Hmm. So I guess, what? De Destiny 2? Oh, finally. Um, oh, Firewalk. So I guess Destiny 2's done with after this final shape thing? Interesting. Nice yoga physics. Okay. I'm sure once I see more, I'll like it. But it great physics. Looks great. There's your Gran Turismo. I hope this one's good. I, I feel like we haven't... I, Need for Speed tried to do... Um, the whole racing game turned into racing movie thing. And that obviously didn't quite work out. So maybe... 
maybe the movie will work. Hopefully it does. Although the true story thing is kind of a cheat, but... Okay. No. This looks like one of those... <laughs> No. These look like those... Oh, the, that design's cool. The little tube design. Um, these look like those concept things that come out of... Um, of when somebody tries to have, like, concept console. Better be Spider Man too, I or something big, I Oh, yeah, Spider-Man 2. Hmm. Finally, a Craven... That actually looks... Man, I hope Aaron Taylor Johnson's Craven's like this. Hmm. Oh, I don't like the. Oh, Wraith. Lizard, Taskmaster. I'm not a big fan of, of the like armor that is Craven's goons have, but don't tell me that's all we get. Okay. Wow, this looks great. No. No, they're not. This is everything I wanted. Oh, man. I love the Hedge Lord Spidey. This reminds me of that Spider Man animated series clip where he's hunting Shocker down with the black suit on. Oh. It's 
It's got like armor and it's got like armor and off his um more alien. Oh, this looks great. Web wings and everything. Hmm. Oh, and everything's kind of, the UI's kind of brought in a little bit. And there's his little, um, he has new pet. Hmm. Interesting. I kind of wish we weren't... I didn't know so much already. I, I feel like... I, I feel like with the other Spider-Man games, they tried to keep as much hidden plot-wise as possible. And, I don't know, it feels like we've already seen the symbiote and yeah I or maybe it's just that you know Ugh. it's just a the skin Look at the neck. So now, yeah, I, I don't know how much I like the fact that I already know a whole lot about what's happening in this game. Yeah. It's also interesting to see that Craven has all these resources.
I love the edginess of the voice acting. Oh. This lizard. Yep. Like, look at the... I love the suit design. Hmm. Okay, yeah. And that's the showcase. Got any more? I didn't show off the accessibility controller. I'm going to have to check the PlayStation blog. It's 
to see what if there's any more info. Okay. Is that it? Okay, that's it. All right, let's look at the PlayStation blog. Okay, Unveils Marathon, Dragon Dogma 2, Beat Saber, Concord. Okay, let's let's open these up. Okay. Uh, Crossfire, Sierra Squad. Snapsies. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize that was a sequel. Um, wow, they really ve revealed a lot today. Um, okay. Tear down. Lucky Squire, Foam Stars, Neva, Talos Plus 2, Ghost Runner 2, Mortal of Avium. That wasn't in here, so that's interesting. Okay, and none of the rest was in here. Okay. Bungie unveils Marathon. See, I feel like. Marathon. I thought, okay, Conjures of Visions was something new. Okay, so it's basically like a reimagining of the of the game they made in the 1990s. Uh, okay, what Queen Queen songs are in this Queen music pack? Another one by Dust, Behemoth, Rhapsody, all the ones you know. Okay. Oh, and they also launched uh, Beat Saber on PSVR 2 with the Queen pack. Uh, Dragon's Dogma 2. Black and Medusa. Story. Yeah, there's not really a whole lot of details on that. Concord. I want to see what this is about. Okay. Yeah, they announced last month that they were joining PlayStation Studios. Concord is our new player versus player multiplayer, multiplayer first person shooter coming to PS5 and PC in 2024. Um, Concord is bringing together people. Okay, social play. It's basically like if Starfield um, was a multi PvP multiplayer game. Got it. Uh, Helldivers 2. I don't think there's anything here that we don't already know. Yeah. Sort of the sea. What, what, do we have anything on that? Okay, nothing new on that. Uh, it doesn't say anything about, um... Doesn't say anything about Xbox. Let me just let me see if there's anything on the Xbox website. Nope, nothing on the web. Nope. Okay. Okay. What? Yeah. What is this? Phantom Blade Zero. The original Rain Blood in the game we always want to make. Um. Inspired by everything, everywhere, all at once. Done again, Bruce Lee, a bunch of other stuff. Okay, I'll, I'll definitely play that. Um, fair games, anything we need to know about that? Okay, Haven Studios is not um, Amy Hennig's um, studio. Got it. All right.
nothing really there. All right, I think I've seen everything. Let me check Spider-Man 2. Craven the Hunter. Uh, I, you know, I don't want to look at anything else because I feel like I'm going to spoil other things. I don't want spoiled. So, uh, with that said, uh, I hope... Uh, um, sorry. I hope um, you enjoyed the the um, showcase, and if you didn't, um, sorry about it. Um, I, I hope their next showcase in three years uh, is better. So, with that said, I um, hope you have a great day. I uh, hope you enjoyed the showcase. Let me know in the comments below. Until next time.